Gwen Walls, the First Lady of Minnesota and wife of Democratic Vice Presidential nominee Minnesota Governor Tim Walls, made a stop in Madison earlier today to campaign for the Harris Walls ticket with less than 30 days until the 2024 presidential election. Walls was also in Beloit to speak with voters in our crucial swing state. Political reporter Darielle Fair joins us live now from Madison. Darielle, what is Gwen Walls' message? Caroline Brandon, Gwen Walls gave her remarks here at the Democratic Coordinated Campaign Office on Madison's north side. The Minnesota First Lady touching on a number of issues from improving conditions for working class families to reproductive rights. Republicans now want to stick their noses even further into our bedrooms and our doctor's offices. And this includes putting fertility treatments at risk. Ms. Walls' visit comes after Governor Walls' comments Tuesday night that the Electoral College should be abolished and a national popular vote implemented during two campaign stops in Seattle and Sacramento. Wisconsin Secretary of State Sarah Godlewski arguing that the GOP's election integrity initiatives to monitor voting processes across key swing states is an attempt to disenfranchise voters. What we are seeing here in Wisconsin with attacking people's right to vote is horrifying. I mean, the mayor of Wausau removing a drop box. We know drop boxes are helpful to whether it's people with disabilities to working parents who can drop off their ballot. In a statement, Republican Party of Wisconsin Chair Brian Schimming said, Gwen Walls is welcome to visit Wisconsin whenever she likes. However, working families in our state cannot afford the disastrous policies and failed leadership that Tim Walls displayed as governor of Minnesota. Wisconsinites deserve low inflation, rising wages, and a secure border. This is Ms. Walls' seventh campaign stop in Wisconsin since her husband, Governor Walls, became a part of the Democratic ticket. And she joins a list of surrogates, notable surrogates, to campaign in Dane County as both Republicans and Democrats attempt to engage voters in this rapidly growing district. Live in Madison, Dario Fair, 27 News.